Teresa, what on earth are you doing? I heard you took out my newborn out of the nursery without permission. The hospital is exaggerating. Why would they immediately inform you? Of course they'd inform me. It's the hospital's duty to report to the mother about their children. Oh, shut up. You all don't have to blame me so much. I was just trying to take care of my granddaughter. She was just born several hours ago. The hospital still needs to do some checkups before she can go home. Also, it's my duty to take care of this child, so you can come visit us once we get discharged. I'll raise the child, so you can come visit me, Katie. Huh? There's nothing wrong about it. The royal family are traditionally brought up by nannies, right? Even if you're in the royal family, you can choose to take care of your baby yourself nowadays. But we are just a normal family anyways. I'll raise the child myself. What a small-minded woman! Hi, Katie. I'm glad you're out of the hospital now. Thank you. I'm really sorry that my wife caused some trouble the other day. You don't have to apologize. It's not your fault. You must have been terribly worried about your baby. I'm so sorry. I was very surprised that she would do such things. Actually, a long time ago, we lost our three-year-old daughter. What? I was careless, and just as I let go of my hand to press the button to cross the road, she tripped and got hit by a truck. I think that's why she became obsessed with her granddaughter. That's why she did such a thing. I'll talk to her and make sure she doesn't do such things ever again. So could you please let this go? I understand. I didn't know you had a past like that. I'm so sorry for your loss. I'll be sure to visit you a lot with my children. Thank you, Katie. I granted you one year to spend time with her, so I'd like to have the rest of her time. What are you talking about? Of course I'm talking about Eliza. I'll raise her from now on, so don't worry. Wait a minute. You haven't given up on Eliza yet? How could I give up on her? I made my son marry you only for this. What? Haven't you wondered why a girl from a poor single mother family was able to become a business owner's wife? This is all thanks to me. I also supported your sick mother and even helped you with her funeral. Now it's time for you to give me Eliza as a token of gratitude. No way. I'm grateful that you helped my mother in many ways. But I can't give you my daughter. You ungrateful bitch. You've defied me not only once but twice. I'll do whatever it takes to make her mine. You better brace yourself. I did it. She has finally approved it. I've won. What is this all about? She started calling me mommy. Now that she thinks of me as her mother, it's time you give her to me. What the hell? It's too late to get angry now. Eliza already sees me as her mother. I'm sorry that she called me mommy before she called you so. You have to be kidding me. I'm not kidding. Why do you think I went to your house every day? It was to train her to call me mommy. Come to think of it, you were always mumbling something in front of her. So that's what you were doing. As a result, your child chose me as her mother. All my hard work has paid off. I'm going to pick her up now. So tell her to wait for mommy. Don't you dare come here. Even if you come, I'm never opening the door for you. I actually 
actually have a spare key. I don't need your permission to go in. What? But how? My son hardly ever comes home, does he? I told him I was worried about Eliza. Then, he made this key for me so that I could go to her whenever Eliza needed me. Oh no. My son has always been on my side. He will do anything I say. Even if that was right, I'm sure he would never give his own child to you. As I said, he's on my side and he'll do anything I say. If you think I'm wrong, you can ask him here yourself. Jake, please help me. You're the only one I can rely on now. Katie? What's wrong? What happened? Teresa is trying to take Eliza away from me. She says that she'll raise her from now on. She still hasn't given up on her? I called Mike for help, but he said unbelievable things to me. He said, just give her to mom. It's just one kid. What? He says his mother can't get over the fact of losing her daughter, and this is the only way to help her heal her wounds. Then, he laughed and cheerfully said, we can try to make a second one if I wanted a child so bad. Oh my god! I'm sorry, Katie. I should have told you earlier. Tell me what? I was thinking of calling you about something. About what? Actually, my wife was preparing papers for adoption. I asked her what that was about, but she said she couldn't tell me yet. Then, yesterday, Mike came to our house. What was Mike doing there at your place? He came to give my wife a spare key to your house. Then, I overheard them talking about something terrible. I couldn't just ignore it, so I tried calling you, but I couldn't find the courage to press the dial button. What is it that you're so hesitant to talk about? Now that you asked for my help, I finally found the courage to tell you. I want you to listen carefully to what I'm about to say. It's too much to text you, so I'm going to give you a call right now. Okay. Teresa? Do you know where Eliza is? I have no idea. She's not with me, if that's what you're asking. We were playing at the park, and I took my eyes off her just for a second, and she was gone. She's probably playing somewhere nearby. I'm sure she'll come back. I can't just wait here doing nothing. My child is gone. I can't stand the thought of her being hurt or abducted. Can you swear to God that you have nothing to do with her disappearance? Of course not. You've still got a lot to learn as a mother. Panicking over something like this. Maybe you're not fit to be a mother. If she's not with you... Then I have to call the police. What? I'm calling the police right now. There's no need for the police. What if she's been kidnapped? As we're talking right now, someone might be taking her father away. If it's kidnapping, you should be more careful about calling the police. They might demand some money or something. Eliza is the company president's granddaughter. What if they found out you called the police and do something to her? Well, that may be true, but... I think we should wait in case someone contacts us. Yes, waiting is the best option now for the sake of Eliza. How can you be so sure about that? What if it's not a kidnap? What if she got into an accident? There's no way she got into an accident. Eliza is absolutely fine. I know it. How can you be so sure with such a hypothesis? All of these stories have no proof. Enough is enough. Talking to you is a waste of time. 
I'm calling the police now. Wait a minute! She's here! What? Eliza is at my house! But you just told me she wasn't with you. Does that mean you kidnapped her? Kidnap? That's not a very nice to say to your mother-in-law. I just brought my granddaughter back from the park. That's all. Taking my child away without my permission is kidnapping. I can't believe you would do this. I will not forgive you for this. I'm the one who can't forgive you. Huh? Eliza was born to be my daughter. And yet, you're always getting in my way. In order for Eliza to be happy, you should give her to me. If you had agreed to that, I wouldn't have had to take her from the park. I will never give Eliza to you. That girl is my child. You have no parents to support you and have no money to fight back. You can't do anything about this, so just give up. You better brace yourself. I am going to do whatever it takes to get my child back. Hey, you can't be serious about getting a divorce. I guess Mike told you about it. I'm not kidding. I'm divorcing him. And I will get custody. Huh? Wait a minute. Why have you decided to divorce him? Considering what you and your son have done to me, it's only natural for me to get a divorce. You ungrateful idiot! Who the hell do you think you are? It's all thanks to me that you got married in the first place. How dare you say that? You owe me a favor. So give me Eliza. As long as you give me that girl, I'll have no use for you anymore. So we'll send you the divorce papers. My son is divorcing you. Not the other way around. I am the one who took care of your mother. Don't forget that. I don't owe you a thing. What? How dare you deceive me and my mother? What are you talking about? I already know everything you did. You made a deal with your son, saying you'd give him the company if he married me. And your son, he seduced me in order to get his hands on the fortune, even though he didn't love me at all. How do you know that? You made a deal with him. If I had a daughter, you'd take her and kick me out. If I had a son and couldn't have a daughter, you even plan to kick me out with the child. Geez, you know that much? That's not all. I also know why you chose me as your son's wife. It's because I had no connection with my relatives, and my only family, my mother, was near her death. Well, that's... You chose me because I had no relatives who would protect me, and I had no money to sue you even if you took away my daughter. You approached mom at the hospice and heard she was worried about her daughter after her death. So you decided to target me and offered mom that you would arrange your son to meet me and support us in our marriage. This is just insane. How could you mess with people's lives for your greed? It's sick to take advantage of people's misery and sorrow like that. Oh well, I guess I can't hide things from you anymore. Your husband overheard your conversation with your son and told me everything. I can't stand such people to get near Eliza. That's why I'm divorcing your son and cutting ties with you. I won't agree to a divorce until you give me that child. Why do you think I let my son marry a woman like you? I don't think you have time to waste on me. Huh? There's someone who was just as shocked as I was. He said he'll never forgive you. Who is that? You're all alone now. It's your husband. What? Your husband apologized for the awful deeds of you and your son. And he was as angry as I was. He said he's divorcing you. Divorce? He's divorcing me? He thinks that someone who would kidnap a child 
and try to separate mother and child is not fit to be an executive in a company that sells baby products. For real? Then I'm fired? He is cutting ties with Mike too. He's not even going to leave him any of his inheritance. Oh no! Then who's going to inherit our huge fortune and company? Eliza. Eliza alone? No way! I won't allow it! Even if you say you won't allow it, it's the company president's decision. And once your crimes are brought to light, I'm sure the board will agree to fire you and your son. What crimes are you talking about? The child abduction. Huh? I'm her family. There's no way the police are going to arrest me for that. You will be arrested for sure. How do you know? Even if you're her grandmother, if you're not the child's guardian and take her out without permission, it's considered abduction. A number of people have been sent to jail for similar crimes in the past. Oh no! I had no idea! That's your fault for not being aware of it being a crime. You can reflect on it in prison. Prison? I don't want to go to prison. I'm scared. You'll pay for what you did for the rest of your life. I was just trying to take care of Eliza. Katie, please understand my feelings. I didn't do anything to get arrested. It was hilarious to see my mother-in-law being arrested, who only thought of defending herself until the very end. After my husband married me for his father's assets, it seems like he was living in the homes of several lovers. So that's why he never came home. I discovered this while investigating things about him so that I can get divorced without a hitch and charge him alimony. After her release from prison, my mother-in-law started to live in a shabby apartment with my ex-husband. She's been living in poverty, trying to pay off my ex-husband's debts. I sympathize with her, who lost her own child. But taking things from others won't make that sorrow go away. My child can never replace her daughter. I believe that the key to a happy life is to cherish what you have now.